everyone, I'm in the craft room and I have another gift project for you. Today I'm using the jewelry clay and it's by the same makers as Easy Cast, so you can go to their website www.eti-usa.com to find out more information about the product and where it's available. Today we're going to be making a wine stopper. Now this I got Hobby Lobby. Now I'm going to show you what else I got. I was at Michael's the other day getting the ornaments for the gingerbread house. If you haven't watched that, you should definitely go see it. And there was a sale going on on Martha Stewart stuff. And look at all of these gems and stuff. They were 80% off. So I don't know if they're not going to be carrying it anymore or maybe they're not making it anymore. I have no idea. But at 80% off, I got some. Now I even got the Martha Stewart rhinestone setting tool. It was 80% off too. Normally I probably wouldn't have bought it, but at 80%, how can I not? Now to make the clay work, you have to use half of part A and half of part B. And they have to be equal halves. And I do, I figure that out by rolling it into a ball, putting it down, taking the other half, rolling it into a ball. That's pretty darn even. So what you need to do is squish it together. Uh, mix it, knead it, and you have to have this be one solid color. You can't have any color styrations in here or it won't work. But when it does harden and cure, it is like rock solid. And this will stick to things. You don't need any additional glue and things will stick to it. You don't need additional glue. Now I will say normally I do the pigment powder with it. But I thought we would go a little bit different this time because I've never tried a really fine glitter with it. And I thought that might be fun to see if it works. So I'm going to now split it into two equal halves again. I have these split and I'm going to squish it onto each side. And I'm kind of using the ball of my hand make it as even as I can, remembering that it's not going to be perfect because we still have to squish stuff into it. So we'll kind of have to just kind of keep cleaning it up as we go. Alright, now I'm going to use these tweezers. And I want to start with a big one, right smack in the center. And these happen to have the pointy bottoms, which is great, but I've done it with the flat ones and it works just as well. All right. Now you want to be careful that you don't, you know, with your gloved hands and stuff like that, touch the face of the stones too much because then all of a sudden they'll have a residue on there and it'll be hard to get that off. So that's why I'm using tweezers and this wax thing which I've never used before. But I'm going to do the very same thing on the other side. Try to get it centered. Push it in. And then I'm going to just start filling in with other stones. And I'm just using a the back end of the skewer stick to kind of push it in because if I push it in with the wax, the wax wants to pull it right back out again, this little wax stick. All right, and there it is on both sides, and now I'm going to use this green Martha Stewart glitter, and I'm going to just pour it right on it. And I've never done this before, so I don't know how well it will stick, but I don't see why it wouldn't stick. And I'm going to very gently pat it, not, not hard enough to where it will actually move any of the stones, just enough to tap that glitter into the actual clay. Now I've pressed all of the resin in and I'm just taking a little rubbing alcohol and cleaning everything off just so that nothing ends up sticking where it shouldn't. So all I'm going to do is put this in an empty wine bottle like this one and let it sit for 24 hours and not even touch it. And then I'll come back, brush off all of the, the glitter, the excess glitter, and we'll have a beautiful wine cork. The wine bottle stopper has set. Now I'm just going to brush off any of the excess glitter on here. 
So here it is, all sparkly and glittery. The glitter actually held on really nicely and it gives it a little more shine even. Perfect to put in a wine bottle and have on display at your next party. We'll see you next time. Happy crafting, happy holidays, and keep watching. Throw me a thumbs up if you like my videos, and we will see you next time.